<laughs> oh my, it couldn't be. Yes, it is I, NordVPN. Am I finally getting a sponsor for my video? Mayo, look at that sub count, maybe another time. Now get out of here and do something useful, hopefully not another bot video. The plan. So this is the very first map in the game. Our objective is not to let the balloons reach the end of the map. Here is where the balloons travel through the map. We can defend ourselves with towers that pop the balloons. So if we created a bot, it would need to buy towers and then upgrade them. Sounds easy enough. The tower needs to see very far, since our bot might drop it off in a corner of the map, making it useless otherwise. If we narrow it down to towers with good range, we will only have around 5 towers to pick from. Uh, the Dartling Gunner dude should also be here, but the tier list wasn't updated. Uh, I'll add him here post-editing. Another thing we don't want in the tower is to have to aim for it. Our bot is supposed to just drop off towers and upgrade them. That means out of the five, only the sniper and plane will remain. Now we have to choose between the sniper and the monkey ace. I tested both of the towers on the very last map in the game and the sniper monkey completely dominated the monkey ace during these early rounds. I can only survive with the sniper so it's settled. Sniper Monkey would be the tower our bot would use. When you drag a tower on the map, there is an indicator whether you can place the tower or not. Like we can see, if there is space for a tower, a bot can do the same. When a tower can be placed, there is a static color white on the tower. The bot can take a screenshot and search for that specific color. If it doesn't find it, the search will return false and reverse when it does find it. The size of the map in BT6 is roughly 1600 pixels wide by 1000 pixels high. However, we don't want to use this space, so about 1600 by 900 pixels. The social distance between snipers should be 80 pixels width and 60 pixels either up or down. That means we could fit about 35 snipers in our desired area. However, there will be objects on the map blocking our snipers. This isn't a problem since we have our tower check function from before. Originally, the bot would place towers from left to right, then move down and until it hit the end. This could result in bad tower placement, so I made the order reverse be between placement. To upgrade the towers, we just click on the tower and look for this green part. The next problem is that if the tower is placed on the right side of the screen, the upgrade menu would end up on the left side, and vice versa. To fix this, we just have two different searches depending on the, if the tower got placed on right or left. For the upgrades, I chose to have every third sniper use camo goggles. This works very good for the easy mode. Enough talking about how the bot works. Let's see how it does against some real levels.
the first map our bot will play against is in the loop. Now there's only one thing left. Sir, you have a two party for that? No. So the next part is to farm medals and Easter event points while watching Netflix. If you liked the editing in this video, let me know in the comments. Much love and enjoy the montage with me farming medals.